double tragedy. Tonight we are hearing from the family of a father and daughter killed in an early morning crash in Fresno County. California Highway Patrol officers saying foggy conditions likely played a role. And now the family is trying to make sense of their sudden death. If you have your spouse, if you have your kids, hug them, love them. Because you don't know when is the last time you'll see them alive. Thank you for joining us for Action News Live at 5. I'm Graciela Moreno. And good evening, I'm Warren Armstrong. Both victims, 50-year-old Rogelio Avila and his 20-year-old daughter Yesenia, were from Parlier. Action News reporter Brianna Willis joins us live from Chestnut and Annadale Avenues after speaking with family members today. Brianna. Yeah, Warren Graciela, it was yesterday morning when Rogelio was taking his daughter Yesenia to school and they were only four minutes away when that crash happened. Well, now their family is working on honoring their lives, beginning with this growing memorial. You can see there are flowers, candles, bears. There's even a cross that has the two names of the two lives gone too soon. A father-daughter bond is one many say can't be broken. And on a foggy Monday morning crash in Fresno County, both the father and daughter left the world together. I'm literally lost for words. This is such a shock to me, to the whole family. Just before 8 a.m. near Chestnut and Annandale Avenues, a pickup truck ran into a big rig, getting pinned underneath, killing Rogelio Avila and his 20-year-old daughter, Yesenia. Tuesday afternoon, one by one, family members started to arrive to the crash site, trying to make sense of the tragedy. It's a hole that can't be filled. Rogelio was Hector Lugo's brother, but he says he was also so much more. He was also like a father to me. He he raised me. He he was the one that I looked up to as a young adult, as a man. He was an electrician, and Lugo says if you needed him, he never hesitated to lend a hand. He was always willing to give his shirt off his back for you. Yesenia's other uncle, Juan Espinoza, says she's someone who brought joy to every family reunion. She was a delight, always in a good spirit, always pleasure to be around. She was a junior at Fresno Pacific University and worked full time at Subway, while also taking care of her elderly aunt on the weekends, getting so much done each and every day of her life cut short. She was 20, but to me, she was always my little girl, <laughs> it's going to be difficult because she had her whole life in front of her. She completed a nursing assistant program and her ultimate goal, becoming a doctor. Excellent student and I'm sad to see. She will make to be, to be a doctor. As family members finish the memorial and hug and console each other, they say to be cautious when driving in inclement weather. We're in the Central Valley. We get, we get fog, we get crazy. Just sometimes you can't see anything and, and we just gotta be safe out there. And they leave behind a mother and wife and a son and brother. And for all the family here today, it was a very emotional day, as you can imagine. They have set up a GoFundMe. We have a link for you on our website if you would like to donate. Live in Fresno County, Brianna Willis, ABC 30 Action News.